Buy to let, thatched, commercial. We're your high street insurance brokers for all types of insurance. Avoid faceless internet firms. See Neil and the friendly team at High Street Selsey. High House Insurance, do it face to face. Or call Selsey 606 552. Hello everybody and welcome to Selsey Internet Radio. I am Jeremy Graves and today we are talking about the Selsey Festival 2013. And I'm delighted to say that I am joined by the organiser of the Selsey Festival 2013, that being Sue Graves. Welcome to the programme. Hello, Jeremy. Thank you. It's really nice to be here. It's like we've met before. I, I can't think how, but... It, it is funny how how familiar you seem to be. Mm, so there <laughs> you go. So as mentioned, we are here to talk about the Selzy Festival 2013. And for those of you completely unaware, we will bring you up to speed right now. Sue, tell us why the Selzy Festival exists and how long it's been going for. Well, this is the 11th year of the Selsey Festival and it originally started to help promote the residents and all the talents that exist in Selsey to both people in Selsey that might not know about them and also the visitors to our great village. And uh, we've put together the most amazing programme this year and as we have for the past 11 years. So I'm absolutely delighted that once again we're launching into a new festival and as I look at the brochure, I notice that we've got quite a dynamic front cover depicting the the, uh, the, the seaside with, with Selsey and the lifeboat station there. Yes, I found this last year at an exhibition at the Selsey Centre where a Selsey-based artist, Bob Hoare, had an exhibition of all his works. And lo and behold, there was this wonderful picture of the East Beach. And I asked Bob, and very kindly, he let us use it on the brochure. And I have to say, I think it's just a magnificent representation of everything that goes on in Selsey. Completely agree. So please, when you see a brochure, have a look and see what you think of it too. So the Selsey Festival this year is running from the 3rd to the 26th of August. And we've got lots and lots of different events going on. But to sort of to pick your brain a bit, Sue, if you had to pick one event that comes to mind or one that you really think people should be on the lookout for, what, what would you say? I have to say the one that stands out to me is the event which is covering an entertaining look at the life and work of Sir Patrick Moore. Patrick sadly died earlier this year and he was the biggest supporter of the Selsey Festival. He never missed one. He always came along and opened it. And we are so sad not to have him with us this year. In March this year um, in Selsey, there was a big event to celebrate Patrick's life. And sadly, a lot of people missed it because it couldn't seat that many people. And some people didn't, in fact, know it was going on. So we're delighted to actually to be able to rerun a similar event to celebrate his life and work. And Dr. John Mason, his long life friend and colleague, will once again be leading the tribute. So we do hope everybody will come down and enjoy Patrick's life and find out about things that they never even knew he did. And in fact, Jeremy, you knew him a bit too, didn't you? I did. And it, it's quite weird because while I fully appreciate people know him for his astronomy or maybe books that he's written, which I didn't know about actually until that event that you mentioned earlier this year... I first discovered Patrick Moore on a television program when I was growing up about video games called The Games Master, where Patrick Moore was in fact The Games Master, and he would be giving out tips and useful information about games to little children that went on the program, which was quite weird in itself. But I had no idea how, how, for lack of a better way of phrasing it, just how much people loved, respected him, were influenced by him, be it in astronomy, be it about his writing and just any, anything. His his entire life was far more than I ever thought it was. And that's not to try and sound detrimental in any way. It, it just shows how how much more there was that I didn't know. And I'm genuinely quite gutted I didn't get perhaps get to know him a bit more. But th this evening, earlier this year that you mentioned, painted such a wonderful picture. And I'm really, really happy that more people are going to get a chance to experience this. Because if you want... If you want something that will paint the perfect picture of what kind of man Patrick was, told by people who knew him the best, and um, you'll you'll be laughing, you'll probably be crying through some of the stories because they're that funny. It's a wonderful, wonderful look at the career, the life of a man who inspired so many people. So if you can get to this, do. I couldn't agree with you more, Jeremy. It really reduced me to tears, and but it was happy tears to, mm. to think that we'd actually known somebody like that. If you'd like to come along and join us, the tickets are £7 
and they can be bought from the box office in Selsey High Street at the Town Hall or they can be on our website www.selseyfestivities.co.uk and as I said they're seven pounds and the actual event will be on Tuesday the 20th of August at 7 30 p.m at the Selsey Centre please come along and join us because I think it's going to be an event that is just worth you being there you'll mm. love it and and if the if the original event earlier this year was anything to go by get your tickets quickly because if you if you if you wait around you, you 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 might be able to get something on the door but this is probably one of the events and this is not just to kind of demonstrate any favoritism at all just in general if there is an event that is going to bring people from far and wide across the UK potentially on a global scale to the Selsey Festival, it it may be this one. I actually would agree with so you. So totally. honestly, get yeah. your tickets in quickly if you want to get to this. But looking at the remainder of the festival, because as you as has been mentioned, there's three weeks worth of, of things going on here. Absolutely. Yeah. Of which it's a mixture of events that, that are ticketed, some are free. You can get all of the details in the brochure, which you can find throughout many, many places of the Selsey High Street, and also from selseyfestivities.co.uk. You can find all the information on there. But Sue, why don't you take us through a few of the events that, are, that perhaps people would like to know about? Yes, Jeremy. Obviously, I can't cover all the 70 events that are in it, but I'm... I'm 70? 70 events, 70 in total over three weeks? Yes, yes. We have a small number of events, as you can see. uh, Okay. Well, let's see how many we can get through. Give us a couple from each week. Right, okay. Um, Saturday the 3rd of August, our opening Saturday. We have a brand new event called Sing for Your Supper, which has been sponsored kindly by the University of Chichester. Now, if anyone saw Military Wives on television mm-hmm. and they saw how brilliantly they managed to sing from absolutely nothing with a dynamic conductor, well, we're absolutely delighted to have a Brazilian choral conductor, Andre Nascimento, coming down to Celsi to actually try and help us all to sing in a community choir format. So that's going to be on Saturday the 3rd of August, 2 to 5pm at the Town Hall. Tickets are £3 on the door and I think it's something that, even if you can't sing, come along and enjoy it with the rest of us because it's going to be fun. Have a laugh. Have a laugh, enjoy yourself. Now the next day, something completely different, Sunday the 4th of August. Now this event, Beer and Rounders at Selsey Cricket Club has run for as long as the festival has run. It has grown and grown. It's purely a day of playing rounders and having fun. The bar is open. There's a hog roast. It's just a wonderful Celsi day. Now, you can make up your own team, which has to be seven people, or you can turn up on the day and present a team. But I think it's better if you actually ring John on 01243 604 924 to enter your team in advance to make sure you'll be there. A- age does not come into it when there is a team. If you've got a if you've got a youngster who is up for playing rounders, they can be part of the team. And I no- tell you, they usually win, Jeremy. They usually yeah, win. Or, or if they don't win, they win the hearts of everybody watching. <laughs> they do. It's very sweet. Now the actual draw will play- take place at 11 a.m. on Sunday, the 4th of August, at the Selsey Cricket Club, which is actually just behind Budgeons in the High Street. So there's absolutely no excuse. Come down and join us all, and you'll have a great day. And plus, it's beer and rounders. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Right now, I'm now going to go to something completely different. Ooh, okay. Friday the 9th of August. Now, next year, as most people will know, is the anniversary of the First World War. Selsey has a war memorial at the beginning of the village where there are a lot of names. And the Selsey Society and a group of other people have been researching all the names who are on this war memorial and also what Selsey did during the First World War and have put together a community project exhibition for you all to come along and have a look at. This is going to be on Friday the 9th of August and over the weekend of the 10th and the 11th and it's going to be at the Exhibition Hall at the Town Hall from between 10am to 4pm. Now they would also like anyone who's got any information on anyone in Selsey during that time, the First World War, to come along and please bring anything that we don't know about. A lot of families have moved away from Mm Selsey and we can't find information on some of these people. So it would be great to find out some things that we actually don't know about. Mm, It's a a very, very unique opportunity to delve into the history of something so prominent on a global scale and to be able to pinpoint a certain location and try and 
identify more people and what their involvement was or maybe things going on. It, it, it's a very unique opportunity from a historical perspective. It's going to be very interesting, actually. Now, I shall make a point of seeing that myself. Now, on a completely different note, Saturday the 10th of August in the evening, 7pm at the Celsi Centre, Celsi and District Lions Club are going to be presenting Bangers and Blues, starring a wonderful band, Forever Young, who's actually been performing at the Celsi Festival for a number of years and the audiences love them. 60s, 70s, 80s music, great beer, great wine, great evening. Have a look at our website to buy the tickets or alternatively on the Celsi Lions website, celsilions.org.uk. Great evening, 7pm Celsi Centre. Not to be missed. Now, the following day, you have got to make sure that you get up in time for the Celsi Lifeboat launch afternoon, which is absolutely part of Celsi. Everybody goes down there. East Beach, don't miss it. For information on that, www.celsilifeboats.co.uk come along and have a great time lifeboats everything happening you couldn't want for any more does exactly what it says on the tin it's a brilliant afternoon i shall be there as well right now moving on friday the 16th and saturday the 17th of august another celsi tradition now this is the 11th fantastic end of the pier show again this cult show has been actually happening since the very first Celsi Festival. Jeremy, I know you've been involved in this in a, a small way, shall we say. <laughs> Do tell. Yes, I uh, I usually partake in the in the in the act of jobs as it were. Yes, where, absolutely, where, which people come to see. Where I uh, where I have donned a, a rather garish swimsuit to say the least and I uh, I'm I'm motioning swimming is probably the only way to phrase it. <laughs> But, but the other thing as well, you mentioned this is a cult following. People legitimately travel from across the UK to come and see this. It's like an annual pilgrimage well, people almost. People book their holidays to come and see it. It's absolutely extraordinary. It's like an annual pilgrimage for some people. To explain to people, it's actually a variety show. Anything can happen. I'm going to warn you, some of it's a bit saucy, Ooh. but it's all part of the fun. Seating round tables, a good buy. Goodbye. Well, it's a good buy, but it's a good bar as well. It's a good buy well. if you get a ticket, <laughs> trust me. It is a good buy. It's a bargain. It's always a sellout. We, we, you know, we just have such fun, don't we? It's great. And um, If you are looking for an evening of entertainment where I guarantee you, you will enjoy yourself, come along to one of the two nights of this. You will have a great time. Everyone has a great time. And like we said, people legitimately travel from across the UK. Didn't someone either last year or the year before come over from Glasgow to yes. come and see it? I think they did. Well, it's not a foreign country yet, Jeremy, but nearly. <laughs> no, but no, but no, but as in in the sense that they literally travelled from the top of the United Kingdom right down to the bottom they to come did. and see it's this. It's ludicrous, actually. Right now, to get you fit after that, Sunday the eighteenth of August, there is a tryout run, two k, cycle seven k, and swim two hundred meters. Now, this is. One of the hardest events that we have in the festival, I have to say, you've got to be fit to do it or just enjoy it. Now, you can actually find information on that by emailing mail at sportsdream.org.uk. The event takes place, as I said, Sunday the 18th of August, 10am at East Beach Car Park. The entry fee is £5 and it's just for charity. So please, please go along and support that. Absolutely. Uh and once again, that's mail, that's M-A-I-L, at sportsdream.org.uk. Absolutely, Jeremy. Now, a murder mystery for those of you who like to support the prima donnas in their brilliant murder mysteries. We had an absolute sellout performance of this last year. So we have actually put it in for two nights this year because we just felt that one night wasn't enough. Friday the 23rd. And Saturday, the 24th of August, that's 7.30pm, Town Hall. Tickets on the door. You're going to love it. Enjoy yourself. Right. The actual last event in the Celsi Festival is the Celsi Carnival. We've enjoyed it for more years than I can actually remember. I've always been there watching it. The Carnival procession is on Sunday, the 25th of August. Leaves the recreation ground, school lane, just behind Budgeons at 3 o'clock p.m., Winds its way up the high street, winds its way around Celsi. Great thing to come and watch. That evening, on Sunday the 25th, there's a wonderful firework display down on the recreation ground. Starts usually about 8.30. And the following day, if you've got any energy left, 
Monday the 26th of August, everybody's favourite giant car boot sale, open to the public, 8.30am, come down, spot a bargain, you won't miss it. And there you have it everybody, that's just a, a small glimpse at what you can expect from this year's incarnation of the Selzy Festival, that running from the 3rd to the 26th of August this year. The website to go to, selzyfestivities.co.uk, and the brochure, as mentioned earlier, is already readily available throughout virtually every place on the high street. If someone doesn't have it on the high street, ask them why they don't. Quite right, Jeremy. And thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to tell everyone about our wonderful festival. Come along and I hope you enjoy it. No problem at all. And make sure you spread the word, everybody. The Selzy Festival, it's its not far away. We're in July now, but August is not that far away at all. Thank you very much for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Selzyfestivities.co.uk for more information.